hello everyone this is Kesh thank you for tuning into my channel today I'll be talking about things that influencers on all platforms do that I find annoying or slightly annoying so you may be able to relate to some of them and some of them I may be guilty of and if I'm not yet guilty of them I may eventually <laughs> become guilty of them number one youtubers with a long intro the intros that have the songs on them as if you're making a music video please limit it to a few seconds we're here for the video not to see a long intro and as a matter of fact I, I don't know if i'm the only one who does this but when i know that you have a long intro i tend to skip your intro and just get straight to the video number two it's along the same line but it's not the intro but when you start to like sit down videos or DIY videos and so on and you're doing either a review or you're talking about something unrelated to what is supposed to be in the video for an extended period of time two minutes into the video and you're reviewing a, a, a product that's not related to what you're doing or you're talking about something that's not related to what you're doing or you're telling us about your makeup or something that you're wearing and it's not about what the title of the video says it is annoying I'm not saying you can't do it you now but make it brief shorten it and get on with the video all right number three content creators who do not respond to comments at all you say you don't have the time to read the comments but I know some of you have a large following right and it may be difficult to re um, respond to every single person but at least respond to a few interact with your your fans or your subscribers um, you know a little you say you don't have the time but your video is going to say in the comment section I saw where persons were requesting how did you see the comments or how do you have time to see the comments what not time to even like or respond to any of the comments persons known ones on instagram who do not respond to comments however when somebody says something negative that rubs you in the wrong way that's when you're ready to respond to them to drag them hmm. you didn't see all the other positive comments but you had time to respond to that one negative comment that rubbed you the wrong way influencers the next one this is the next one influencers who review things that they have not tried I understand that you are paid for the promotion I understand that you may have received the item for free but give us your honest opinion on it one way in which you can do so is to talk about the pros of the product or the service and the cons that can work so that we can decide if we want to purchase it but don't give us a positive review for something that you have not tried for yourself especially if it is along the line of like skincare because those things take a while for you to actually see the results and for you to actually know if they work so please uh, stop giving us those fake reviews this one particular Jamaican youtuber love her but last year she posted a Christmas cake for someone and the cake looked like it was spoiled like it was you know it was getting to the point where it was um, started to get rotten and she posted the picture i thought it was me but then when i went to work i heard persons talking about it so i realized that i so i realized that i wasn't the only one who thought that um something was wrong with the cake so please give us your honest review honest opinion or ask them to send you another one if something like that happens mm, the so the two other annoying um influencers that i did not put in the video are the influencers who one are fitness influencers who had surgery and then they tell persons that this is how I'm get, I, I got the, this is with this workout is how I got the butt and this is how I got the waist snatched and this is the waist trainer that I use I'm not saying that you don't the waist trainer won't help I'm not saying that dieting and exercise won't help but be honest and be true you know how you got it and we knew you before so even though you deleted your old post the persons who have been following you for a long time we know that you had surgery and that's okay because i'm all in support of people um enhancing themselves to feel better but be honest about it number two the persons who 
especially Jamaican YouTubers, you start making a little money and then you start bleach. Why? Like, I don't support bleaching at all. And I feel like, like, 80% of the time you looked better before you started bleaching next one is pranks I don't think I'm the only one who is annoyed by all Jamaican youtubers doing the same prank and pretending as if they didn't see the other person's prank or the person that they are pranking acting as if they don't know it's a prank or you have a staged prank and your acting is crappy this particular couple, their acting is crappy. They talk like they're reading when they're doing the pranks. And it is so annoying. We know it's not real, especially car pranks. Where in a car are you going to hide the camera? Are you hiding this big old phone and this big old camera that is basically obviously on the dashboard? We know it's not real. You don't have to try so hard to be funny. We love you for who you are. We're already subscribed to your channel because you did something that caught our attention or because you're a Jamaican and we're just supporting you. So you don't have to try so hard. And if you if you are going to try hard, be authentic. Be creative. It's okay to be creative and think outside of the box. Big up the ones who try to do pranks that are culturally relevant and outside of the box. Thank you guys for that. I love it persons who are doing like beauty gurus and so on who feel like when they are doing like hauls and so on that you need to try to be funny you don't have to try to be funny we're here for the products and some of the times you trying to be funny is actually making your video so corny that it's difficult to watch i don't think i'm the only one with this problem um and if i see your videos like that half the time i'm actually going to click out of your video and find another video that is related to the content that is being posted um the last one is the labels that you give your videos if you're going to label your label your video host store please ensure that it's not a sit down video with you showing us minimal clips of the actual tour of the room or the house or the shower or the renovation that you are doing yes we want to know the details we want to know where you purchased the items or where you got the things but give us an actual tour and my preference is that the tour is at the beginning of the video and then you actually talk about the things but if you want to do it in a different format no problem if you want to sit and do the clips in between no problem but ensure that most of the video is not you talking you chatting and then the tour is so minimal that we don't actually get to see the tour that you are giving us so those are the things that I find annoying that youtubers um, Instagram models and TikTok famous people do um, thank you guys for watching this video I hope you subscribe to my channel um, I'll be doing a lot more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.